Lucy Sibber. Who's special? Sorry, it's open night. How are you feeling? Uh, rotten. Very, very nervous. Not nervous at all. Then how do you think it will go? Well, good. We hope so, anyway. Who knows all the mistakes? They won't all like it. I think they'll. Yeah. yeah. We got like six nights to perfect it. Seven, seven, okay. Seven nights. Seven nights of getting makeup on as well. Yeah. It'll get better as the nights go on, believe me. I know. And Mr. Manners will come up and tell me how I'm going, so I'll um, just do the best I can. Hi. Hello. How do you feel about opening night? Like, I don't have to do much. <laughs> I, I only have to go on do a, well, uh, two scenes I've got to do. So how should I do the videos? We should be just... How are you feeling tonight? Oh, uh, I'm uh, got my high things. I know this. <laughs> and what about you? Are you pretty nervous about it? Very, very. I've had it six o'clock this morning. Hi. Um. How do you feel about opening night? Oh, I'm very nervous. Stuck on, so I gotta go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Here's George. Um. Yeah. Well, here's George. How are you feeling, George? What's your role in production? Well, in the production is that of producer and director. Uh, the director, in my case, is somebody who deals with all the artistic side of it, other than choreography, which is a specialist role, which Mr. Evans and Tiffany Hackney do, and other than, of course, all the music side, which is Mrs. Ridgway's role. I deal with all the other decisions on stage movement, on the acting mm -hmm. side of it. And then the production side, or being a producer, is the coordinator of finances, purchasing, all of the crews, making sure that they all do their jobs correctly and on time, and they all know what they're supposed to do, and seeing that it all rolls together towards the production date. Hmm. And what's the hardest thing about that? Well, the hardest thing about that is that we're in a school situation and that has to continue as a school. You can't destroy what is basically the job of a school, which is to educate the students to whatever it happens to be, whether it's HSC or school certificate examinations or really exams. So we try not to disrupt the school. And that's a very difficult thing to do with a show of this magnitude. We've got heaps of people involved and you also have a lot of money tied up and a lot of responsibility. So you've got to try and play this juggling act. And it's taken a lot of years to try and get that balanced correctly. When I first started, it was very difficult and I trod on a lot of people's toes. But with something as big as Oliver, I really do believe we haven't disrupted the school a great deal. That's the hardest job of all. Mm -hmm. um, so what are your expectations of Oliver? At this point of time, two weeks to go, I think it's going to be the best we've ever done. Uh, I'm not saying something because I think the previous two shows were mighty excellent and that's other people's opinion other than mine. But the way it's shaping up in all aspects, I think we're going to have a smash hit on our hands and uh, I've got no fears about that.
things that we try for and have tried for over the last three productions is a level of professionalism without making that sound ridiculous. Uh, professionalism in the sense of an attitude, not necessarily in terms of a standard. We aim at that standard, but the attitude of professionalism. And I think that's why we come up with such a good polished product. I've told you, chorus people, you are as important as the supposed key role players. There is nobody, not one of you, who is not important in this production in the way that you project your characters. Now, if you just stand on stage, if you don't project character, if you don't invent a character for yourself, and play that role within the context of where you do, a street in London, Paddington Green, if you don't do that, the production is going to be 10 degrees less than it should be. There is no doubt about that. You can't be given it all. What you've done at the moment is to block the basics. You've got to fill in the gaps. Because we saw today the potential of how good it can be. But at the moment, it's going to be that bit less. Because you've really not put in the groundwork. You haven't been going home thinking about what your character's all about. You haven't thought about how you can develop the movements, little movement nuances. You haven't gone and rehearsed some of the more tricky steps in the dance numbers in place. You really haven't developed. And you've got to do that if you want this to live, really live. And I suggest you've got to really put your backs into this in the next fortnight. The next fortnight is kill or break. explain your role in the production? To do essentially to start off by doing the dances themselves, the actual main numbers that lend themselves to a dance routine. And then to fill in smaller movements that might not necessarily be interpreted as a dance. And to add to the drama by giving interesting movement.
a job as single cop by accident was uh, the stunt work. Like the single Bill Sykes has to slap her, uh, the Bill is shot. And has um, that worked well? Yeah, that has. We've got to work out now that we've seen the set height. Yeah. I've got to con pull our last laugh to fall six foot backwards into a crash mat. The hardest part would be keeping the interest in what you're doing. In other words, making sure that you're not repeating the same steps or falling into a particular style of dance. And has that happened? It has in all. We have been able to avoid totally the problem of repetitive or what we did at dance school stuff and actually do movements that tell the drama, tell the story, and not just, oh, this is a good dance sequence. Now we'll go back to the show, everyone. Um, involved in getting the students up to the standard required. Okay, well the stages of getting them up to that standard are going to be firstly what happens before they even get involved. And that is working out what we want to do as a broad idea, and that's where Tiffany Hackney came really into our own. We sat down, worked out what we see those numbers being. Then you've got to choose kids who are capable of doing the movements. So there's a selection stage. sell the idea to them, then you have to start and piece by piece teach them the dance routine, then the next stage comes and you have to change it because what you thought was a good idea and what you thought they could do sometimes works out they can't do it or it didn't work when you've got ten people, it worked for eight but not ten, so you change it to suit them and to suit you or what now looks better that you're actually seeing human beings performing it not your imagination. So that um, the stages then, are, then they know it, then they have to perfect it. And that's getting the timing in the rhythm. And what about actually moving that all onto the actual stage? That's still to happen, because the set's only just gone up, and at the time of this interview. So what happens is next, put them on the stage, watch them try and do it, fall over all those steps are up there. They'll fall over all the steps and bump into things. And then you're going to say, right, you're going to have to short your steps, you're going to have to lengthen yours, uh, you can't go up those steps. So there's like another rewrite, and mm -hmm. that's the final one, because they are there in situ, in the place where it's really going to happen. That's quick, because they can see now at last what you've been trying to say. <laughs> you can fall in on a flat stage, on a clutch, you say, imagine you. <laughs>
as musical director. Um, what that entails is, first of all, when we started, we chose the role, roles of the, of the students. I actually brought them in for rehearsals during lunchtime. We learnt the words, the songs, the music. And then when the music came for the orchestra, we, we began practising the music. And then the next step after that was um, combining the singing and the characters on stage with the actual orchestral music. And then we moved down to the gym to, to try and put the whole thing together with the acting. About. Teaching the singing, the words, um, the orchestra's been great, that's been quite easy because um, their talent and their self-discipline and they've been used to playing with in other bands and other orchestras before has really helped. So the orchestra's been fine. It's, it's bringing the both of them together really, the cast and the music together and Finding out any differences between, say, music, what they've learned with the piano and what they hear with the orchestra often is, is very different. So it's, it's merely the combining of both of them together that's been the hardest. Mm -hmm. so, so what do you think students get out of being involved in a production like this? Working with other people, getting on with other people, working as a group and not as an individual. Musicians often work as individuals. And when they actually work with bands and groups, they end up uh, working with other people, listening to other people. Um, it's really quite valuable self-esteem, self-confidence in being a part of something that works, something that's good for the school, increasing school, school spirit. And um, so how do you think Oliver will turn out? I think Oliver will turn out great. I think it will be a great production. There's a lot of hard sweat and tears in the meantime, <laughs> in between the whole lot. But I think overall it will be great. I think it will be a really good production because it's traditional, it's got a really strong storyline, it's got great music. I think it, it will be great, it will be a professional standard. My role in this production, I guess, has been uh, as, as being a, um, a map. Uh, it's all in here, the whole set. Uh, I built it in 1988, and, uh, uh, and even then, we had no idea what we were doing. Uh, we just had a pile of tin on the floor, and uh, we had one photograph, just one, and uh, when it was previously put up. So, uh, in fact, I spent a whole week, five days, putting it up, and this time, um, I, I know a bit more what I'm doing, so uh, in fact it became a lot easier this weekend. Uh, and my role basically was to uh, uh, guide the kids in how to build it, because that was very important uh, that the kids get in as much as possible. There was a lot of student input in this one, there was at least 15 kids over this weekend. Um, and what I could do, because I knew how it went together roughly, I could guide them in the, in the way they were going. I could say, right, that has to go there. I could, I could turn away and say, right, do that. And I could go to another piece and start nothing out which page, you know, which bolt hole went there. And then I could get them to tighten all the nuts. And there was always something for them to do over this whole weekend. Mm. And uh, quite often I find that very difficult if, if one of the boys or girls comes up and asks me, what can I do now? I, you know, I get in the front and think, what can I do? But there was always something they could do because I could rely on them. Uh, you know, uh, I think that they, uh, they've done themselves justice over this weekend and uh, the fruits of their work is, can be seen and uh, they'll get compliments from the audience. Yeah. Uh, you know, not only for the whole, you know, the, the actors and the singing and, and the music, but people will say that is a fantastic step and that will give them a lot of satisfaction. I guarantee it and I feel very proud of themselves.